Thanks to Ashley Judd, Hillary is selling disgusting t-shirts to raise cash for sick cause. Hillary Clinton is back from her long walks in the woods, and this time, she's pimping t-shirts for sale. The disgusting tees just popped up on the former Democratic nominee's Twitter feed, and she's getting a ton of backlash from conservatives who find them offensive. Everything about this should make you sick, especially where all the cash is going from the sales, and then, there's Ashley Judd's role, which will make your skin crawl. Getting involved in horrible causes for sick reasons seems to be something Hillary Clinton can't stop doing, so when she decided to take part in a fundraiser for Planned Parenthood, it was par for the course. With the words nasty woman big and bold across the t-shirt held up by Hillary, the Hollywood celebs, who are rabid promoters of the baby-killing organization known as Planned Parenthood, think this is just great. Support Samantha B and Planned Parenthood and buy a nasty woman t-shirt. Of course, the term nasty woman was made infamous by that feminazi Ashley Judd when she exhibited deranged behavior at the women's march as she recited a pathetic poem called I am a nasty woman. Judd said, I feel Hitler in these streets. A mustache traded for it to pay. Nazis renamed. The poem repeated the refrain, I am not as nasty as, at one point attacking Trump's relationship with his daughter, Ibga. The so-called poem also touched on a woman menstruating, with Judd said, my blood-soaked sheets, as she grabbed her crotch. It was one of the most despicable, man-hating displays most people have ever seen. This was at the Washington, D. C. Women's March, where the useful idiots showed up wearing pussy hats. Patriotic Americans are utterly disgusted by Hillary's role in selling these t-shirts for an organization that is killing females. How's that for supporting women? But, that's how the liberals roll, nothing about what they do is logical or intelligent. It's all based on lies and then selling those lies, like t-shirts, to those who are easily swayed. I could never image handing my little girl this shirt. It's degrading, sad and reinforces a negative image on young women. Hillary says she is supporting liberal talk show host Samantha B. If you're not familiar with B, count yourself lucky because she's a hot mess. Miss B actually said it white people ruined America. T Act show host Samantha B is focusing this liberal tantrum by squarely accusing white people for ruining America. On her, November 2016, show, which I can imagine anyone watched. She launched into a typical liberal tirade against all of those ignorant unevolved people who voted for Trump. In the coming days, people will be looking for someone to blame, the pollsters, the strident feminists, the Democratic Party, a vengeful God. But once you dust for fingerprints, it's pretty clear who ruined America, white people. Vibe downtrend. White people ruined America? If I'm not mistaken, that's a pretty racist statement. But that doesn't matter these days. White people are fair game in 2017. In fact, according to Black Lives Matter, white people are devils. If you are white, a patriotic American, and a Christian, you are the problem. The Democratic Party, along with all their liberal organizations, have demonized all white Christians as unintelligent hicks, claiming we hate all minorities. They demonize the cops in America and have gotten quite a few of them killed. They demonize the GOP and they got shot. Their lies must be exposed. Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama are back, and they will try to make white people feel guilty for voting for Donald Trump. I'm tired of qualifying everything I say with, I'm not a racist, only because of my skin color, before I point out the problems with illegal aliens or Black Lives Matter. I'm you also tired of pointing out that feminists who support Planned Parenthood and abortion while wearing pussy hats are silent on female genital mutilation and Islamic sex slaves in the Middle East. They buy a nasty woman t-shirt for 25 bucks that pays for the murder of a baby girl in the womb and think they are doing women a real favor. They are colluding with evil and calling it good. White people didn't ruin America, it was the ungodly swamp creatures of all races in Washington, D.C and their rich benefactors in Hollywood that made America a cesspool of sin. Those liberal elites hate the patriotic, God-fearing Americans of all races who got fed up with living in the cesspool that their liberal policies created. Now, 
these leftists slash out in fear as they see their swamp being drained and America restored and made great again. Again.